what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel and as y'all can see by that title i am going to be doing a pros and, and a con i can't even talk today y'all i'm so excited because i ain't been on here in a minute y'all i ain't posted a video in a minute and i know i've been ghost and i know i went missing but that's okay because I'm back now. And the reason I was missing, or the reason I went missing, because I feel like I owe y'all an explanation now. And I feel like I gotta tell y'all what's going on with me. So, I really was just trying to get past the holidays. We are in a new year. Cheers to 2024 and yeah we are in a new year and i was really just trying to get past thanksgiving i was trying to get past christmas and now we're in a new year and yeah so my new year's resolution is to i have a lot of new year's resolutions this year i feel like it's gonna be my year i feel like it's gonna be my year y'all what y'all think what y'all think? I feel like 2024 is going to be my year. And I just want to dedicate 2024 to myself fully. Like, I want to pour into myself, like, the most I have ever poured into myself. Because I was already pouring into myself. But I want to get in a gym and start working out. Okay, y'all, I'm trying to get big on these. Nah, I'm playing. I want to be more healthy physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Um, I want to start eating better. I want to be consistent with um, the social media and the content creator thing. Um, I want to obviously truck, but like trucking is going to get me to where I want to be so I want to work harder I want to pick up more days I want to you feel me just not burn myself out because I want to make sure that I'm getting a proper rest and stuff like that but I really want to work my butt off in all aspects of my life okay honestly but yeah sorry for the wait and sorry for the hold up and sorry if I just ain't you know just sorry for not posting, y'all. You feel me? But I'm finna make up for that, all right? So, this is this notebook I got right here, y'all. Um, I have a list of pros and cons in here. And I'm trying to think, should I start off with the pros or the cons? I think I'm gonna start off with the cons so I can scare y'all a little bit. And then, I'm gonna uh, make up for it with the, with the pros, okay? So... Yeah, I gotta make. I'm gonna try. I'm trying to make this video quick. I probably should. You know what? I should make this video long and just really talk y'all ear off for real. I don't know, but okay. So the first con, I would say that you're away from home and you're gonna be missing out for real. You're definitely gonna be missing out when. People got things going on on the weekend and family functions or events, birthday parties, things like that. You're probably going to be on the road, get to the money, and you're going to be missing out. And it's going to seem like it's so much going on at home and everybody having fun without you. Because that's it, it do feel like that. And it can't get like that, y'all. But on the bright side of things, you're going to be get into the bread though like you're gonna be making your money so my advice to that is really just stay down because the fun can wait all that stuff might sound like you missing out i mean it is in a way but miss out for a little while so you can really run your money up and in the long run you can have fun you can have fun and not worry about them bills or worry about that stress and stuff like that you know Get to the money right now. Grind it out. Do what you got to do. Oh, I cut my finger too, y'all. Just doing stuff. Like, I really need to stop doing stuff. Like, 
I really need to sit my ass down for real. I just can't stop moving. I just got to do something. So if y'all was wondering what happened to my finger, yeah, I cut it on accident. So, um, the second con, I would say that it could get boring. It could get boring, y'all. It, it definitely can get get boring. Because you're just driving long periods of time. You're looking at the road. And you just got tunnel vision for real. I listen to music. I listen to podcasts. But sometimes you get tired of listening to the same songs. And y'all, sorry if I sound sick. Because I am sick. I'm getting over a cold. But it's just like I'm congested like all right here. So that's why my voice sounds like that. Just in case y'all was wondering. Um, yeah. So uh yeah, it could get boring, but like I said, you can always just try to keep yourself busy as much as you can with the music and the podcast. Find some really good podcasts, you know to get you through get you by get you a headset you know invest in a headset so you can talk on the phone once you really get like driving down pack first not for new drivers don't talk on the phone also like i think i'm finna start listening to audiobooks i know some audiobooks be costing depending on which one you want to listen to but i heard that audiobooks could get you through your trips too for real so I'm going to have to look into that for sure. So, if you got some good podcasts for me, y'all, that y'all listen to, maybe y'all could put me on. Let me know in the comments. The next con I say is starting pay. When you first starting off, don't think. I know people be thinking, like, truck driver. Money, 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 money. Now, when you first starting off. Don't get get that out get that out of your head if you think that when you first starting off you will be making crumbs, but my advice to that is really try not to. I know you're getting into this for the money, but when you first starting off, really like put your experience first. Like get your experience first and just focus on that, and the money will come. You know the money will come. It, it's it's there for sure. But when you first starting off, you, you're probably not going to be making a lot, especially depending on what company you go with and your situation and wherever, you know, it, it takes you. So, yeah. The next con I would say is starting treatment. <laughs> and what I mean by that is when you first start off, They will treat you like you a number, depending on what company you go with. You're a new driver. You're just trying to get experience. You're trying to get your foot inside the door. They try to play crazy. Some some people will talk to you crazy. Some people they won't even make you feel comfortable for real. And I know that can be discouraging. People probably will try you for real, but just really think about the bigger picture at the end of the day you just in here trying to get your money so just try to stay positive go in this industry with a clear mind take a deep breath you know breathe you know and try to look at reviews when it comes to the companies too i recommend because every starter company is, is not gonna be the best reviews anyway but just try to get in where you fit in for real and just try to think positive for real people are mean and people are assholes but it's okay like it'll be okay you know don't don't give up the fifth con i would say is parking and what i mean by parking is that it's you in a big truck right say if you got to go to the bathroom you can't just pull over anywhere to go use the bathroom if you hungry you can't just pull over anywhere to get you something to eat you have to make sure it's a truck stop or big enough to fit your truck so you can go get you something to eat or do what you got to do so yeah and also if you drive during the day 
time and you get off on a later side it's hard to find places to park or spaces to park because they all filled up and they do have reserved parking at some truck stops but you better hurry up and get it before it get filled up so yeah i would definitely say parking is 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 hectic i got a lot of little hideouts where i park the truck in different states like especially if i'm getting off on the later side and i know it ain't gonna be no parking at certain truck stops we got some hideouts maybe a walmart or something i don't know <laughs> yeah so all right y'all so now we're gonna move over to the pros to the pros girl stop Pro number one, I say the independency. You really get to do you, for real. Like, you really get to do you. You get to... <laughs> you ain't got to really answer to nobody, for real. You can just do whatever. Not do whatever. But you get what I'm saying? Like, listening to your music, you get the vibe out. You get to be by yourself. You ain't got nobody hovering over you. No bosses hovering over you watching your every move like it's really just cool for real like i like being by myself i'm not really a people person anyway especially like you know sometimes you just don't be in a mood you know and when you in the trucking industry you're not in the mood like somebody made you mad and you ain't had the best day for real you know being in the trucking industry you ain't got to really deal with people that's that can potentially make it worse you know what i'm saying so definitely the independency is a pro for me a hundred percent pro number two you get to wake up at work you literally get to open your eyes roll out of bed and you're at work like i know when i wasn't trucking i used to hate especially in the morning time because i like driving in the morning like i like uh, working in the morning or getting up in the morning to go to work it, it, you be dragging it for real like especially if you ain't getting enough sleep for real you know you be dragging in the morning time don't feel like working going slow then you gotta go outside and just it just be it be too much so the benefit of trucking waking up at work is definitely a a a plus for me for sure I didn't drove in my road before. Literally, I I didn't drove in my road before, in my pajamas before. I ain't gotta do too much. Nobody, I can look bummy every single day at work if I want to. I ain't gotta look cute for nothing. I am at home, my home on wheels, type shit, type shit. <coughs> Pro number three, the potential to make six figures. You definitely, you know, got the potential to make a lot of money in this industry, y'all. Uh, and you don't even have to be in school for a very long time either to make this much money. You know, you really just, I say give or take, once you get like two years of experience for real, you really open up so many opportunities for yourself for real. Really a year, you know. So you definitely get the potential to make six figures. Depending on what company, they be thirsty and they will pay you top dollar. They looking for the best of the best drivers though. So get your experiences, you know, learn from your mistakes, make mistakes. You're gonna make mistakes. Nobody is gonna be perfect in this shit. I be lying to y'all if I told y'all I was perfect in this shit. I didn't. I didn't fuck up one too many, one too many times. We ain't gonna talk about it though. Learn from your mistakes and yeah, you know, get your experience so you can make that money on. Um, pro number four, um, I would say you get to travel for free. Yeah, travel for free. I didn't been to hella states, then tried 
hella new food places and restaurants. I didn't see. I didn't see some good sceneries, some nice looking sceneries and stuff like that. Now, when you are on the road and you know you got tunnel vision, you drive and you do see just road for the most part. But try to get on an account or with a company that gives you some leeway sometimes where you can possibly park the truck at a Walmart or at a plaza or down the street from the mall or across the street from the mall and see some new things in, in the States too. Like really get to experience some different things in the States besides food. But me personally, I like to travel just to eat. Send me on a vacation just to try some new food. I'm down for that shit. I don't know about y'all. But, um, yeah. And lastly, really just the money for real. You get to make good money in this shit, man. And especially, like, if you got goals and you really trying to achieve these goals, you don't come from a rich family for real. You're really out here hustling, like trying to get it out here for real. The economy going up, bills then racked up, debt then racked up, you know. Huh. It's really like a cool little hustle for real. Like I can't really make this up. And I definitely been through a lot to even get where I'm at now because I'm pretty much happy and, and comfortable and content right now. But, you know, it's always wrong for wanting more and doing better and being better. So, yeah, <laughs> that concludes the pros and cons video. Yeah, so I hope y'all like this video subscribe for me your post notifications and yeah until next time y'all i don't know what i'm gonna do next time just 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 be ready all right <laughs>